Well, it is only March, and the city of Syracuse has already seen its fair share of infrastructure problems. There have been more than 100 water main breaks. Fixing the problem is too costly, though, for taxpayers to bear. Now, Syracuse Mayor Stephanie Miner is reaching out to Albany and Washington for some major funding. Matt recently sat down with her at length to talk about her efforts and her time in office. Matt? Well, Megan, Syracuse Mayor Miner has never been afraid to follow her own path and speak her own mind. We saw it when she was a common counselor. Now, in her second term as mayor, the city's top executive has been willing to cast aside political relationships to stand up for what she sees as right. Tonight, we go up close with the mayor, who is looking to Washington and Albany for those major dollars to fix problems that start underground. Broken water mains, potholes in weathered streets, and an aging elevated highway. Fundamental problems of a city where a local tax base is too small to possibly imagine paying for repairs on its own. There is not enough money, uh, there's not enough grants for systems the size of Syracuse to be able to upgrade itself. And again, it's not just Syracuse. I Syracuse Mayor Stephanie Miner is spreading the word. Cities like Syracuse need help. Decaying infrastructure is crying out for long-term investment. She talks to citizens. She meets like-minded politicians. And she authors op-ed pieces hoping to shake loose solutions. Do you feel like you have uh, become a voice for this upstate New York corridor on issues like this? I think I become a voice for issues like this. These are investments that need to be made, uh, but they don't lend themselves to press conferences or sound bites. And so we really need to have responsible leadership on it and to talk about making investments, which means you don't get an instant gratification. You put that money in there because it will come back over time and time again. And so I've become a voice for uh, that. And on this issue and your know, previous times, it was pensions. There are issues that I think are very important and that I choose to stand up and be represented on. A New York Times op-ed piece authored by the mayor two years ago, she called out the governor for avoiding the harsh realities cities face and demanded he provide leadership. Since then, that rift has grown. She criticizes him for flying into town to point at pretty drawings and then flying out again. Have you talked to him further recently? Well, I've sent him letters and corresponded with him on it. Um, he thinks it's a good idea for New York City, for Tappan Zee, for Long Island, for Mass Transit. Um, and for upstate, he thinks, as he said in his own words, you should fix your own pipes. We invest locally in business-driven approaches that create jobs. It's Why haven't you talked to him directly about it? He was here yesterday. Uh, well, because I have, I've sent him letters about it. I haven't received uh, answers. Uh, and it's not something he wants to talk about. And I, I think he doesn't want to talk about it because there's really an inconsistency in his message. He said to this community, fix your own pipes, get jobs first, then fix your own pipes. And when I've said, well, how can we get jobs here if, you can't, if they can't flush their toilets or put water in their coffee makers? Um, and by the way, if that were the case, then Westchester County, which is the wealthiest county in New York State, should itself be paying for the Tappan Zee Bridge. But of course they're not. All of New York State, as is appropriate, is helping pay for the Tappan Zee Bridge. Uh, people in Syracuse are New York State taxpayers too, and that money should go to help pay for our infrastructure, including our water system. Just this week, the Wall Street Journal took notice when Mayor Minor issued a joint statement with New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. The article suggested she might one day run for governor. She insists she's focused on the tradition of being the custodian of City Hall. Do you look back at what some of them did, whether it be Alexander or Young or Bernardi or Driscoll, that they, there was some piece that they did that that's worth looking at again? I don't do it when I walk by the, the wall. You know, when I walk by the wall is my first initial reaction is, why is my mother up on the wall? And then I realize <laughs> it's me. Um, in, but, co in color. Yeah, in color. But um, you can't help but respect the people who've gone before you in this job and the kind of work ethic and the kind of passion that it requires and also sort of the nature of what I do as a mayor and what other mayors do is you're always building upon the people who went before you and trying to build it better for the person who comes after you. Do you still think that two terms for the mayor is enough? I mean there's good reason why that started we know that. Yeah. But do you think it's enough? How you know, can you get, I mean, you're just getting rolling. You're just getting comfortable, right? Right. You know, um, there are parts of it that I agree with and parts of it that I don't agree with. Uh, I love this job, um, but it is also, I am tempered by the reality that third terms for executives historically have been disasters. I'm focused on getting as much accomplished as, a, as I can, leaving it all on the field, as they say, and uh, the day that I'm not mayor, 
uh, I will sleep through the night knowing that I did the best that I could. So with that, I'd be happy to take your question. Thank you. You know, while talking to Mayor Minor, I pointed out to her this political fact about the four mayors who preceded her. None of them ever ran for office again. Mm. Now, she may break that mold. She certainly has not ruled out what she will do when her uh, term comes up in about uh, two years and ten months. But she's strong. She's on point on message. I mean, she certainly has a message for the governor and the people of Syracuse. Yeah, she's been very clear about that uh, over the last couple of years, for sure.